Hey Disney Dreamers, the Disney Wonder is almost here and I'm excited. Stay tuned in this video, you might find out something a little bit extra that you weren't originally aware of. Disney Cruise Line AUNZ over on Instagram have released a fantastic Magic at the Sea pocket guide. So we're just going to go through real quick some of these pages. Right, let's have a look at this. The ship's basics. On deck 11, what's included on a Disney cruise? Enchanting entertainment, spacious staterooms, a variety of dining options, imaginative kids clubs, pools and recreations, access to adult exclusive areas and more. So if you've been watching the videos guys, I'm sure you've been doing your research online. There is a a lot to take in so let's quickly go through these what do we got state rooms we've got inside beautiful appointed accommodations with nordic motif in other words no windows the verandas uh number three actually i jumped across uh, our most spacious non-concierge state rooms each with a private veranda to admire the spectacular ocean views i hope to have some great photos from that because i do have one of the veranda rooms ocean view enjoy more space than a standard inside state room with a real porthole window to enjoy stunning sunrises and sunsets so that's going to be really nice as well and of course if you've got the bucks go to concierge our most luxurious accommodation each with large private veranda and premium amenities and services there's some great videos out there about concierge and all the perks it gets um, fortunately it's a little bit out of my price range but if you are traveling on the disney wonder whilst in australia please 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 uh, dm me some photos videos whatever you can or even just tag me in a couple of your pictures because i'd love to share them and i'd love to see them as well um, I'm so excited. Uh, food and beverage locations. All right. Main rotational dining. Rotational dining ensures that all guests can enjoy the three themed dining experiences while on board. Your party and your service team will rotate to different table services each night, a restaurant each night. So basically what that means, if say you, you've got your allocation of dinner, whatever time you have, uh, you say you've got table 41, you will have table 41 at each of the three restaurants. Now the waiters, the wait staff there, there's three of them, there's your drinks waiter, your food waiter and the captain waiter. They will follow you for each restaurant. So you know, make sure you get to know them because the more they know about you, the more they can provide you that better service um, and ensure that any dietary requirements are met and not overlooked. Um, so just remember as of the three restaurants that we have is the Animators Palette, Tiana's Place and Triton's. Just to let you know, I watched Tiana's Place finally last weekend with my lovely wife and um, it, was, it was really nice. I really, really enjoyed it, surprisingly. Cabanas, location deck nine. Stroll along the inviting beach boardwalk, boasting fresh flavor, favorites and breakfast for breakfast and lunch. Absolutely. So Cabanas is the buffet um, that is not opened for dinner dinner is your rotational dining so make sure you stick to those obviously there's the extra which i'm not sure if it's mentioned here but palo palo is their fine dining restaurant that's an extra charge that's something extra you need to attend to but quick service we have pete's boiler bites pinocchio's pizzeria on deck nine daisy's delight sandwiches salads wraps and fruits ice cream treats soft serve ice cream um and if you look online you will see a familiar face who's the proprietor of that ice cream monsters ink anyone and sully's sips okay location deck nine drinks and dole whip now dole whip just a bit of an insight there obviously dole whip we know is the disney uh, staple um, you can get an alcoholic version of it. Just check what the ingredient is and see if you like the alcohol. I definitely may have one or two while I'm there. What do we got? Food and beverage locations continuing. Adult dining exclusive. All right, so here we go. Palo is the one I was talking about. That's on deck 10. That's an Italian fair in an intimate settings. That's beautiful. And we got a couple of bars there. Well, it's quite a few bars actually. So the lounges, we've got the D Lounge, the French Quarter Lounge, Cove Cafe, Signals, Crown and Finn Pub, uh, I think it's an English one, um, and Cadillac Lounge and Azure. So some of these are lounges with a whole game shows at night as well. Um, obviously some bars and a couple other different things. I think bingo is held in one of those. So if you know how to play bingo, you might want to have a look at that because there's cash prizes, I believe. That's what I've seen from the American and the other trips. Hopefully we'll have that here in Australia. Entertainment, this is what I'm excited about guys. Frozen, a musical spectacular, that's going to be amazing. The Disney Dreams, an enchanted classic. I've said this before in my videos, I've spoiled this for myself. 
It looks beautiful and I can't wait to see it live. Golden Mickey's, bit of an excuse to dress up, bit of a paparazzi sort of event. Um, it's like going to the Oscars. Um, I'm sure it's gonna be fantastic. Now, a couple of deck shows. Now this is really surprising guys. Mickey Sadaway Party, we know that's a thing. Fireworks at sea on cruises of three plus nights. So three or more nights by the sounds of it. So you will get fireworks. We knew that was going to happen. However, Pirate Night, location on deck nine on cruises of four plus nights. But then Marvel Heroes Unite, that's on deck nine. Now I'm not sure if they're just meet and greets. I'm not sure what that is because it's not Marvel Day at sea because we've got Pirate Night. So I'm interested to see what Marvel Heroes Unite. Now, if anybody's on the Disney Wonder right now, send some pictures if you know what this is. Hopefully it's still with us. I know there's traveling on the way here. Um, there's a lot of disclaims down the bottom. If you can see those, you yeah, have a read. Let's keep going. Recreational pools, there's Goofy's Pool, Quiet Cove, Aqua Lab, Twist and Shout, and Dory's Reef. All those are very entertaining. I'm sure they're going to be well used. Maybe not. The weather in Tasmania tends to be quite cold, um, especially out at sea there. I'm just passing the Bass Strait. So we'll see how we go. Might be hit and miss. I'm not sure if I'll be putting my feet in the water, but definitely be very relaxing if you do. What do we got? Additional offerings, the Kids Club. Now, if anyone has seen any video at all, unless you've been under a rock all this time, Disney offers some of the most best kids clubs around. The way it's managed, the way that they, it just looks so secure and safe for all the kids. So definitely have a look at the videos around, uh, but it's a small world nursery. That's an extra fee as far as I'm aware. Disney Oceaneers Club, Disney Oceaneers Lab, Edge and Vibe, they're all the different age groups. Um, you do, depending on how young they are, when you check them in, I say check them in nicely, when you uh, take your kids there, um, you can actually set up a password. Without the password, your kids cannot leave. Up to a certain age, they can. Um, so it's really, really secure. Uh, there was something else I was going to mention about that. Oh yes, on the first day before uh, disembarkation, adults can actually go have a look. The only time adults are allowed is before it departs. Go have a look, go see where your kids will play. You'll get to understand the areas and the way it works. Um, it looks fantastic, it looks secure. I would trust my kids to these people. It looks amazing. And Spa and Fitness is the, the fitness center, census spa salon and wide world of sports deck there's a they got foosball uh, basketball um, i think they may have mini golf i can't remember or maybe it's one of the other ships but uh, if you do know let me know and shopping oh my god this is going to be absolutely crazy guys uh mickey's main sales uh sea treasures white caps uh, shutters photo studio vista gallery bibbidi bobbidi boutique and diamonds and wishes i'm gonna have to look at diamonds and wishes i actually don't know what diamonds and wishes is i have not seen that anywhere and Sea Treasures. I'm not sure what Sea Treasures is. So Whitecaps is the more upmarket uh, souvenir shop. Mickey's main sale is kind of the family orientated, um, kids clothing, all that sort of stuff, you know, a little bit more affordable. But Sea Treasures I have not seen and Diamonds and Wishes. Diamonds and Wishes may be literally what it sounds like, di di uh, diamonds and jewelry. Um, just remember that all prices are in US dollars, so they can be a little bit expensive. So just keep an eye on that. The exchange rate, I think it's 1.6. So unless I'm mistaken, unless my math is too, totally wrong, add about 60% to your purchases. I could be wrong, but I believe it's about 60%. Uh, so just be careful. Don't get caught off guard. All right, guys, that was the last one. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts. Tell me if you're excited. We're mere, mere days away. I've got, I think it's 19 days for me to go. Um, it feels like it's getting longer every day as it gets closer. Anyway, peace, love, all that stuff, guys. And see you on the Disney Wonder. Peace.